Hello and welcome to the Health You channel. This is an health awareness channel where our mission is to motivate you to look at the brighter side of your health. I am your host Meghna Dave. I am a physiotherapist and I come up with the videos every single Monday on different health topics. So if you are new here to this channel, consider subscribing and make sure that you press that bell icon so that you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Down syndrome is a rare genetic disorder that happens due to some chromosomal abnormality. In today's video, we are going to talk about it. Hence, by the end of this video, you would be knowing what exactly is this condition, why does it happen, who are more at the risk of developing Down syndrome, what are the symptoms of it and how it is managed. So without wasting much time, let's get started. There are multiple symptoms that a patient or else a kid suffering from Down syndrome will experience. But the severity of Down syndrome varies from individual. Hence, it is not important that each and every person suffering from Down syndrome will have similar experience. The person with milder variety of Down syndrome will show very minimal features and will live the life very normally. And on the contrary, the person who has very severe level of Down syndrome might have loads of disabilities making living the day-to-day -day activities and life difficult. The symptoms vary from musculoskeletal impairments, intellectual abilities, at the same time a lot of other systemic problems. So, the so following is the list for the conditions and the problems or the symptoms that a patient suffering from Down syndrome will experience. Flattened face, small head, short neck, protruding tongue, upward slanting eyelids, small ears, poor muscle tone, relatively short fingers, small hands and feet, hypermobility of joint, short height. Coming to the causes of Down syndrome. Now, the reason why Down syndrome happens is because of the multiplication or its presence of this extra 21th chromosome. Now, what are chromosomes? Chromosomes are nothing but the genes that are present in our body. Human beings have got 23 pairs of chromosomes. In the, among these pairs, one comes from the father and one comes from the mother. Whenever on the 21st chromosome, there is an extra multiplication following an abnormality, then it leads to this condition called as Down syndrome. Now, this extra multiplied chromosome could be partial or else full. And based on that, the symptoms of the Down syndrome would be seen. Now, you must be wondering, is this an hereditary problem? No, Down syndrome is not an inherited problem. It does not run in families. It's just a genetic abnormality that happens without any cause. Although there is no cause for developing this kind of condition, but there are certain risk factors that puts a child more prone to develop this problem of Down syndrome. These risk factors are the age of the mother being more than 35 years. And if a mother has given birth to a child who is already having Down syndrome, there are higher chances that the second baby will also have this condition. So, these are certain risk factors. Even the mothers having more stressful lifestyle and other genetical abnormalities are more prone to have kids with Down syndrome. So how Down syndrome can be prevented? Unfortunately, there is no way with which the Down syndrome can be prevented. But Down syndrome can be detected very early in the stages of pregnancy. There are certain blood tests and screening tests that exist and are being recommended for the mothers to undergo while they are pregnant in order to figure out whether the child is at risk of developing Down syndrome or not. If Down syndrome is not being detected during pregnancy, post birth also Down syndrome can be diagnosed on the basis of history, physical presentation, baby's features and chromosomal karyotypes. Now, as I said, there are certain problems or else symptoms that a child suffering from Down syndrome will show. But not only that, there are certain complications that a child is more prone to develop in future following Down syndrome. These complications are presence of heart defect, presence of gastrointestinal related defects, presence of immunity defect leading to the compromise on immunity, sleep apnea, obesity, spinal problems, leukemia dementia and overall an increased chance of getting multiple injuries at joint level as there is hypermobility of the joint. Apart from having so many complications and other symptoms related to Down syndrome, 
the lifespan of a child or else a person suffering from down syndrome is very long on an average a person suffering from down syndrome easily lives in life of around 60 years as the days are passing by the awareness about this problem is increasing day by day and there are a lot of studies and treatments coming up that can help the child suffering from down syndrome to live a better life now coming to the management side the treatment comprises of a multidisciplinary approach doctors ranging from family physicians pediatrician pediatric cardiologist pediatric neonatologist pediatric orthopedic surgeons physiotherapist occupational therapist there are many doctors who are involved in management of this child suffering from down syndrome now specifically talking about physiotherapy physiotherapy plays a very key role in management of down syndrome as i earlier mentioned there are a lot of musculoskeletal defects and lax joints and poor muscle tone it is very important for a child to undergo strength training program in order to ensure that the child is able to live a strong life apart from this a child suffering from down syndrome also shows developmental delays here also physiotherapy plays a key role last but not the least improving the trunk strength or else trunk control is one of the core goals or else you can say aim for a physiotherapist who is treating a patient or else a child suffering from down syndrome physiotherapy management in general comprises of tummy time exercises special type of therapy which is called as neurodevelopmental technique sensory integration technique strength training with the help of bicycling treadmill walking etc and physical activities that involves strength and flexibility in day to day life child suffering from down syndrome can also adopt other type of physical activities like yoga pilates swimming and certain sport related activities in order to ensure that they live the life to the fullest so friends this was a brief about what is down syndrome how it is managed and what exactly are the symptoms associated with it i hope you found this video useful if yes make sure you like this video press that bell icon so that you can get notified every single time i upload a new video and see you next time bye bye